Imagine this a sleek sixth generation fighter jet cuts through the clouds above the vast Pacific Ocean. Inside the cockpit sits one of America's finest naval aviators, continuing a proud tradition that stretches back to the days of the Wright brothers. But here's something remarkable. This pilot could be among the last humans to ever fly a Navy fighter jet into combat. That's right, the Navy's upcoming FAXX fighter might just represent the final chapter in the century-long story of manned naval aviation. Is this the end of an era that gave us legends like the Hellcat, Corsair, Tomcat, and Super Hornet? The answer will surprise you. The United States Navy is currently developing its next-generation fighter jet, the FAXX. This sixth-generation marvel is set to replace the aging FA-18EF Super Hornets starting in the 2030S and will operate alongside the F-35C Lightning II. But unlike previous fighter transitions, this one comes with a stunning twist. In April 2025, Rear Admiral Michael Donnelly, director of the Navy's Air Warfare Division, made a remarkable statement at the Sea Airspace Conference. The FAXX could be our last tactical manned fighter that we operate out of the Navy. That declaration wasn't made lightly. It represents a fundamental shift in how America projects power across the world's oceans. Today, we're diving deep into why this incredible aircraft marks such a pivotal moment in naval aviation history, what makes it special enough to potentially end the era of human pilots, and what this means for America's continued dominance of the skies. If you believe American military technology should always remain the most advanced in the world, type Navy Strong in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this remarkable shift in naval aviation. But before we continue, I should mention that there's something absolutely revolutionary about the FAXX that even many military experts don't fully appreciate yet. It's a capability that will change everything about aerial combat, and I'll reveal it in just a few minutes. You won't want to miss it. Naval aviation has always been at the cutting edge of American military innovation. When Eugene Ely first landed a Curtis Pusher biplane on the USS Pennsylvania in 1911, it was considered almost impossible. Yet within decades, massive carrier battle groups became the centerpiece of American naval power, with increasingly sophisticated aircraft extending our nation's reach across the globe. The FAXX represents the next evolutionary leap in this proud tradition. But why do we need it now? The answer lies in the changing nature of global threats. China and Russia have developed sophisticated anti-access area denial capabilities specifically designed to keep our carriers at bay. China's DF-26 carrier killer missiles can potentially strike targets up to 3,100 miles away, far beyond the combat radius of our current fighters. The FAXX is being engineered to counter these threats with a combat radius approximately 25% greater than existing fighters, around 837 nautical miles compared to the FA-18 Super Hornet's 1,275 miles or the F-35C's 1,200 miles. This extended reach is crucial for protecting our carrier groups while still projecting power where needed, but range is just one piece of the puzzle. The FAXX will also feature next-generation stealth capabilities that surpass even the impressive F-35C, making it virtually invisible to enemy radar and infrared detection systems. This isn't just about avoiding detection, it's about ensuring our pilots can strike first and come home safely. Boeing and Northrop Grumman are the remaining competitors for this prestigious contract after Lockheed Martin was eliminated from consideration in March 2025. The stakes couldn't be higher. Whoever wins will shape the future of naval aviation for decades to come. What revolutionary technology makes this fighter so special that it could end the century-long tradition of Navy pilots? Eh, the answer might just blow your mind. The most revolutionary aspect of the FAXX isn't its stealth or range. It's what's happening in the cockpit. This fighter represents a fundamental shift from man-in-the-loop to man-on-the-loop operations. What's the difference? In traditional fighters, pilots directly control the aircraft and make moment-to-moment -moment decisions. In the FAXX, artificial intelligence will handle most tactical decisions, with the human pilot serving more as a mission commander overseeing operations rather than controlling every aspect of flight and combat. 
This shift isn't happening arbitrarily. The modern battlefield has simply become too complex and fast-paced for human reaction times alone. Modern air combat involves processing vast amounts of sensor data, coordinating with multiple assets, and making split-second decisions that can mean the difference between victory and defeat. The FAXX's advanced AI systems can process this information far faster than any human, giving our forces a decisive edge. But the most groundbreaking aspect is how the FAXX will serve as the quarterback for a team of unmanned aircraft. The Navy is developing Collaborative Combat Aircraft CCAs, essentially autonomous drone wingmen, that will fly alongside the FAXX. These unmanned systems can take on high-risk missions like penetrating heavily defended airspace, acting as decoys, or carrying additional weapons, all while being coordinated by the human pilot in the FAXX. This manned-unmanned teaming creates a force multiplier effect. A single FAXX pilot might control four or more unmanned platforms, dramatically increasing the combat power projected from our carriers without requiring additional pilots or risking more human lives. The Navy envisions that by the 2030s, carrier air wings could consist of up to two-thirds unmanned aircraft, a dramatic shift from today's almost entirely manned force. America's adversaries are spending billions to counter our naval power. Here's the surprising way the FAXX turns their expensive strategies into wasted money. The FAXX isn't just another fighter. It's a strategic game changer for how America projects power globally. For decades, potential adversaries like China have invested heavily in anti-access area denial strategies designed specifically to keep our carriers at a distance. They've calculated that if they can push our carriers beyond effective strike range, they can neutralize America's ability to project power in regions like the South China Sea or Taiwan Strait. The FAXX fundamentally disrupts this calculation in multiple ways. First, its extended range means carriers can operate safely outside the effective range of many enemy weapon systems, while still striking critical targets. Second, its advanced stealth features make it extremely difficult to detect, track, and target, rendering many expensive enemy defense systems effectively useless. But most significantly, the FAXX's ability to coordinate with unmanned systems creates an entirely new problem for our adversaries. Instead of having to defend against a predictable number of manned aircraft launched from a carrier, they now must contend with a much larger swarm of platforms with varying capabilities and levels of expendability. Some drones might serve as decoys, others as electronic warfare platforms, and still others as strike platforms, all coordinated by the human pilot in the FAXX. This approach also creates major cost advantages for America. Our adversaries have invested in extremely expensive systems designed to counter our equally expensive manned fighters, but relatively inexpensive drones controlled by a single FAXX can overwhelm these defenses through sheer numbers and diversity of approach. It's a classic case of American ingenuity changing the rules of the game. The FAXX isn't just an incremental improvement over existing fighters, it represents a quantum leap in aviation technology. Let's explore what makes this aircraft so revolutionary that it could potentially be the Navy's last manned fighter jet. At its core, the FAXX features what engineers call Open Mission Systems Architecture. Unlike previous fighters that were designed around fixed capabilities, the FAXX is built to be continuously upgraded throughout its service life. Think of it as the difference between an old desktop computer with limited upgrade options versus a modern modular system where components can be swapped out as technology improves. This approach means the FAXX can continuously incorporate new technologies, sensors, weapons, and AI capabilities without requiring a complete redesign. As autonomous technologies improve, more functions can gradually shift from the human pilot to AI systems, potentially paving the way for fully autonomous operations in the future. The aircraft's sensor suite is equally revolutionary. Unlike current fighters that rely primarily on radar, the FAXX will feature a comprehensive array of sensors including advanced radar, infrared search and track systems, electronic support measures, and optical systems. These sensors create a complete picture of the battle space that's far more detailed than what any previous fighter could provide. 
Perhaps most impressively, the FAXX will feature AI-driven sensor fusion that combines all this information into a cohesive tactical picture. Rather than requiring the pilot to mentally integrate information from multiple displays and sources, the AI presents a unified understanding of the situation, highlighting threats and opportunities that might otherwise be missed. The propulsion system is another area of dramatic advancement. While specific details remain classified, the FAXX is expected to feature a new generation of engines that provide significantly greater thrust while consuming less fuel the key to achieving that extended combat radius while maintaining high performance. For generations, naval aviators have represented the pinnacle of military professionalism, courage, and skill. From the aces of World War II to the Top Gun pilots of today, these aviators have captured America's imagination and respect. So what does it mean that the FAXX could be the last manned fighter? The reality is more nuanced than simply replacing pilots with machines. The transition to unmanned systems doesn't diminish the importance of the human element. It transforms it. The FAXX pilot will be less like a traditional fighter pilot and more like a combat air mission commander, making high-level decisions while delegating tactical execution to autonomous systems. This evolution reflects a growing recognition that humans and machines excel at different aspects of air combat. Machines can process sensor data faster, execute precise maneuvers without G-force limitations and operate in high-risk environments without risking human lives. Humans, meanwhile, excel at strategic thinking, adapting to unexpected situations, and making ethical judgments that can't be reduced to algorithms. The FAXX strikes a balance by leveraging the strengths of both. The human pilot provides the judgment, leadership, and accountability that remain essential in warfare, while AI systems handle the increasingly complex tactical environment that can overwhelm human cognitive capacity. This partnership between human and machine intelligence represents the future of warfare, not just in the air, but across all domains. And it's worth noting that the Navy has chosen to make the FAXX a manned platform, despite earlier considerations of making it optionally manned. This suggests that even as autonomous capabilities advance, there remains a crucial role for human judgment in combat operations. For the naval aviators who will fly the FAXX, this evolution doesn't diminish their importance. It elevates it. These pilots will need to master not just flying skills, but also the art of commanding autonomous systems in complex environments. They'll be pioneers in a new form of warfare, just as the first carrier pilots were pioneers in their day. When will this revolutionary fighter take to the skies? And what surprising obstacles stand in its way? Let's know that. The FAXX program is currently in the source selection phase, with a contract award for the engineering and manufacturing development EMD phase expected soon. This contract, worth single-digit billions initially, will set the stage for development efforts that could ultimately cost hundreds of billions over the program's lifetime. The Navy aims to field the FAXX in the early to mid-2030s as FA-18EF Super Hornets reach the end of their service lives. This timeline is ambitious but necessary. Given the evolving threat environment and the advancing age of current naval aviation assets, however, Several significant challenges could impact this timeline. First, there are technical hurdles to overcome. The integration of advanced AI systems with manned operations raises complex questions about system reliability, pilot trust, and the appropriate balance of authority between human and machine. Ensuring these systems work flawlessly in combat conditions represents an enormous engineering challenge. Budget pressures also loom large. The FAXX program recently saw a reduction in funding, with the FY 2025 budget allocating $3.3 billion, instead of the initially planned $10.3 billion due to broader budget constraints. These funding cuts could potentially delay development and push back the initial operating capability date. There are also conceptual challenges to address. While the vision of manned-unmanned teaming is compelling, the operational concepts are still evolving. Questions remain about how many drones a single pilot can effectively control, how decisions will be delegated between human and machine, 
and how these systems will perform in contested electromagnetic environments where communications may be degraded or denied. Despite these challenges, the Navy remains committed to the FAXX program as a cornerstone of future naval aviation. An additional $500 million was recently allocated for rapid development, reflecting the program's high priority within defense planning circles. The FAXX represents a pivotal moment in naval aviation history. As potentially the last manned fighter the Navy will ever develop, it bridges the gap between a century of human-piloted combat aircraft and a future where autonomous systems may dominate the skies. With its extended range of approximately 837 nautical miles, advanced stealth capabilities, and revolutionary AI systems enabling man-on-the-loop operations, the FAXX is designed to ensure American naval air superiority for decades to come. By serving as the quarterback, for a team of unmanned systems, it multiplies the combat power of each carrier air wing while reducing risk to human pilots. Whether the FAXX truly proves to be the Navy's last manned fighter remains to be seen. Technologies continue to evolve, and the balance between human and machine may shift in ways we cannot yet predict. What's certain is that this remarkable aircraft represents American ingenuity and military innovation at its finest, ensuring that regardless of how warfare evolves, America's Navy will remain the most powerful force on the world's oceans. The legacy of naval aviation, from wooden biplanes to stealth fighters, is a testament to American courage, innovation, and determination. The FAXX continues this proud tradition while pointing toward an exciting future where human skill and artificial intelligence combine to create capabilities beyond anything previously imagined. If you found this analysis valuable, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth coverage of the technologies shaping America's military future. Your support helps us continue bringing you this important information. Thank you for watching and may God bless America and the brave men and women who defend her.